Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to take you through a demo of how to effectively use TradingView, get the most out of it, and of course, maximize your um, analysis to its full potential. So in this um, home screen here, I've just picked up a, literally a random chart and I'm going to go through all the tabs um, now chronologically. So obviously at the very, very top of the screen, if we go full screen, everything obviously disappears and it just becomes, um, I suppose, solely focused on the in internalities of the actual a trading chart in which you have open. Now, of course, if we exit out of the full screen, all of our side panels at the top and on the side and on the right-hand side, we come back into visibility. Now, I suppose the first thing that I kind of look at when I'm setting up my trading view is obviously having the time frames at the very, very top. So this, um, I suppose this area here allows us to assess the price action of a particular asset, particular contract, whether it be FX, indices, or whatever it is over multiple periods of time. Now, I suppose for many um, technical analysts, traders, um, those who use charting as a key component within your trading, this obviously becomes a very, very significant and very, very important tool. Whether it's ultra short term, whether it's news, whether it's um, the kind of the intraday shorter terms, like the minutes up to the hour, whether it's your migration from short term to medium term or even medium to longer term, like your days, weeks, um, and months, okay? So that for me is ultimately important here that when you're setting up a chart, you are cognitive of, I suppose, all of the different, um, I suppose, available timeframes to look at a specific asset to allow you to maximize your analysis for that given contract. Now, in the top hand, left hand corner, we have our contract screen or symbol search. So if you want to look for a particular asset, you can do so very, very easily. And of course, then um, in the in the uh, indicator section here, we also have if, if there's certain indicators that you want to use or certain indicators that you feel is necessary for your trading plan, you can find it here through the indicators catalog um, that is contained on TradingView. So, for example, if I want to put in EMA, um, you can see all of the different EMA indicators that comes up. Um, if I want to do maybe something got to do with a trend identifier, um, trend lines or trend, anything trend related, of course, that comes in as well. So obviously another element to consider. Now, the secondary tab here is obviously the candles structure. So this obviously takes through whether you prefer to look at a line chart, whether you prefer to look at maybe something different like um, base lows, um, high kanashis, uh, and so on. So that allows us obviously to, I suppose, assess the price action under different circumstances. Because not everyone using candle, not everyone uses candlesticks. Some some use um, volume profiles. Some use uh, ladders. Some people use. Um, line charts so i suppose it all comes down to i suppose what you're comfortable with as well and being able to navigate around that of course on my subscription here i do have the replay function so if i want to uh, replay anything or maybe look at a specific asset or anything like that i can do so very very quickly and back test so the replay function is really very very good for allowing traders to back test to if, if you're testing a specific strategy, allowing you to do so in a safe environment where you're not actually risking live equity. And that is ultimately important. But the other um, neighboring um, aspect here is if you want to create an alert. So if you have an order or you trade limits or stop positions, uh, uh, sell limits or sell stop positions, then you can obviously do so here. You can set alerts and then obviously that can be factored in as well. So when you maybe want for the price action to come to a certain price point, you can then be notified of that as well. So obviously very, very handy. Now over here um, is where we kind of look at if you want to save work. So if there's particular starts you want to save or anything like that, you should always um, rename first and foremost, and then obviously press the save button. Once you press the save button, the broken cloud will disappear and there will be a tick inside the cloud. So that basically means that the chart or information that you've just done has now been saved into the servers and everything is obviously secure. Now, of course, these tabs over here, um, again, from a top screen, if there's a particular tools or functions you're looking for, you can do so. If there's settings, you want to change the settings on your price action on your charts, you can do so here, whether it's appearance, symbols, etc., you can do so as well. And of course, then if you want to full screen or exit out of full screen, you can do so. And of course, if you want to take a screenshot, you can also do so here with the camera icon. OK, so that is the first set of tabs on the top of the screen. Now, the second set of tabs here on the left-hand panel are the different drawing tools, drawing functions, etc. right? 
So in the first ones, we have our trend lines, our arrows, our horizontal rays, all of these different things. So if I want to, let's say, look at a piece of price action and I'm identifying maybe a key price action area here, I can do so, draw out my horizontal ray. I can see very, very quickly markets are holding above it. We've broken through, we've retested and we've continued selling off. So from that perspective, using the drawing tools helps you identify price action areas, helps you to maybe um, hone in on certain aspects of, of the price action and make things obviously visibly more important to yourself. So there's obviously a list of initial um, lines. So the first tab is effectively all your kind of trend lines, arrows, etc. Okay, so trend line tools. The next set is the FIB retracements. So you've got FIB retracements, um, you've got GAN and FIB tools. So you've got FIB time zones, GAN boxes. So if you use GANs or anything like that, um, this obviously becomes a useful um, tool as well. So even like the likes of your FIBs, uh, speed resistance arcs, I don't use a lot of this personally myself, but of course, if it's relevant to your trading strategy, trading plan, then of course, this is where you can obviously find it as well. And um, the next area then is the um is is the particular uh what should we call it geometric shapes okay so we've got our a brush um we've got a highlighter so if I wanted to maybe draw a consolidationary range you can do so like for example here um I've also um I can see here that we've got obviously a rectangular range so we're in consolidation we've broken out we've come back into the range and then we've broken underneath mm -hmm. so that obviously allows us to draw a consolidation structure so if there's anything specific with how you trade maybe breakouts consolidations and then breakouts that could be a relevant tool to you as well okay um now beyond the geometric shapes um there is like arrows text and stuff like that so and um, below the ge geometrics, we obviously have circles, paths, etc. So if you're looking for maybe um, multiple pieces of price action, multiple directional swings, so let's say here and um, back down to here, keep you, if you want to keep maybe using the arrow, for example, you can do so very, very clearly as well. So the path is a very, very useful tool as well that I actually use quite regularly and often myself. Um, so as you can see there, the brush, the rectangle and the path are the three that I've actually highlighted in my favorites toolbar. So if you want to add anything to a favorites toolbar, you just tick the yellow star and obviously that adds it to a toolbar. Make sure the blue star sign in the left bottom corner is ticked. And then over here, you'll see your favorites toolbar. So kind of all the main primary tools that you'll probably use on a day-to-day -day basis becomes centralized in one particular tab. Now below the, <clears throat> excuse me, below the geometric shapes is our text an annotation tool. So of course, if there's um, anything you kind of want to add in, of course, there like text or comments or anything like that in your charts, you can do so um, through here as well. Now, the last one then is the kind of, la well, the last two kind of important ones is the patterns. So if you use Elliott Wave, or you use um, any of the kind of ABCD patterns um, or any of, the, any of those kind of type, types of patterns, head and shoulders is there as well. Um, you can do so from here as well, okay? And then of course, the last one then is the prediction and measurement tool. So this obviously calculates percentage movements. It calculates time and date price ranges. So let's say for example, um, it, it can do, let's say price range. If you take from let's say the local high, to the new lows, you we can determine that that's almost a six and a half percent sell off. Okay, so that's obviously quite useful if you're looking for percentage metrics. Um, if you're looking at maybe date and price range, so let's say for example you're seeing this as right, well that's a six and a half percent price range, but it's also price action over eighteen days and twenty hours. So if you're looking for how long it's taken the movement and price action from the high to the low. It will also give you that as well. Okay. So that's obviously quite important. And then of course you have your long and short position. So if you've identified a piece of analysis and you're looking at maybe buying, you're looking at plotting your, your stop loss, how do we calculate the risk rewards? So let's just say for, for um as a hypothetical situation, um, you go long on the breakout. Um just for example, let's say you, you're going long on the breakout your stops above maybe the local lows body wise, and you're looking for price action to reach the hype. So if you had a piece of analysis like that, what's your risk reward? Well, your risk reward there is one to three. Now, of course, it didn't quite happen because the markets obviously rolled over. But again, similar scenario, if I do the opposite effect and say, well, uh, I'm seeing here shorts, price actions broken through the lows, selling here, um, price action, maybe just above the, the, the last set of local areas. And then of course, looking to bring this down you can see that that's a one to four. So you can obviously determine risk, the reward, return, the, um, I suppose, the capital outlay of that position. And I suppose finding optimal rates of return. So let's say, for example, in your strategy, you have a set risk reward of one to three. 
and that's your minimum that you look for, you can determine very, very quickly if uh, by using this tool, if you can actually get a potential return of 3% or 4% or whatever it is to determine whether this trade that you've analyzed is actually a trade that is worth taking from a trading plan trading strategy perspective all right so that's um kind of the main tools you've got kind of a few bits and pieces down here i don't kind of pay too much attention to them obviously the rubbish bin removes all tools um this uh locks the screen this obviously mag magnets uh magnet mode is on um so it kind of attaches to the closest ohlc values of nearby bars i don't use that either i kind of work off kind of a blank canvas because it suits me better personally speaking and then obviously down here uh favorites um tab has been ticked or highlighted mm -hmm. and then of course as a result the favorites then is is noticed um through here as well so mm -hmm. on the right hand side of the screen if i just drag this across we've obviously got our um, i suppose watch list you can set you can check your alerts and um, if there's any news that you're looking at and um, of course it has it here as well um, there is of course hot lists so if there's any particular assets that are maybe doing better than others you can obviously determine that calendars as well um, so pretty much has everything um, handy and localized and of course there is like forums public chats private chats etc um, as well so that's pretty much um, kind of the breakdown to trading view how to use it how to get the most out of it now there is other apps within the main screen that offers like sentiment index and heat maps um, mm -hmm. but we actually have those as well on our acg platform as well so obviously depends on what you're looking at broadly speaking all right so that takes you through trading view of course and um, the just i suppose one final metric here the right hand toolbar on by default is the prices the left hand um toolbar at the bottom um, is your date and times now of course if you ever want to centralize the chart so you've maybe back tested and you want to go back to the to the current price um, you've got obviously zoom in zoom out left and right and of course if you hit this tab it will reset the chart to the current price as well of course um dates and times is in the right bottom corner if you want to toggle by percentage you can do so as well and of course if you want to go by log scale you can also do that as well all right so that's um trading view if you've ever any questions please do feel free to reach out to us um and of course we'll be more than happy to help in any way that we can thank you everyone